Hi everyone, welcome to the third in our series with the BMO, getting to know the BMO, the Bank of Montreal. Um, today's subject actually is a very interesting one for anyone who's thinking of uh, emigrating to Canada because it's new to Canada and one thing you'll need when you're here in Canada is a good bank to look after you. And our man, the mortgage specialist from the BMO, is our good friend, Asid Naim. I always have to say your name slow, so I get it correct. But uh, yeah, there you are. It's good to see you again, buddy. Likewise. How's everything, Stu? Yeah, good. Steady. The market's um, steady. More listings are going on. So uh, yeah, it's getting more interesting. You know, I think we're still in a seller's market. Um, maybe the prices might go up a touch, um, but uh, a lot of people coming here from overseas, uh, also Ontario's, uh, a lot of people are coming from Ontario to Cal Calgary at the moment. So uh, anyway, that's our subject today, isn't it? Uh, new to Canada. So if you're new to Canada, uh, they need to listen to this. This is what the BMO offers. Thank you, Asid. No worries. Thank you, Stu. All right, so I'll just dive right into it. Um... It, the process actually starts even before you come to Canada. If you have a lot of wealth or a lot of cash assets sitting overseas and you know you come to Canada, the first thing you want to do is buy a home, then what you can do is you can open up a BMO bank account from anywhere in the world online. And then you can start transferring money into that account uh, 12 months even before you come into Canada. The only thing is, within 12 months, you have to show up at one of the Canadian branches of Bank of Montreal and you have to validate yourself to be able to access those funds and actually activate that account in person. But that, that's a great way to transfer funds over. And the good part of that is when you're in Canada, you already have your money sitting in, Can in a Canadian bank. So you can use it right away instead of going through the long waiting period of transferring money over after you've come to Canada. So yeah. the entire process is uh, started when you start thinking about coming to Canada. And when you're new into Canada and if you want to buy a home, you definitely can. Uh, even if you have no Canadian credit history, you can definitely buy a home. You can definitely qualify. One thing is you can give, you know, 5%, 10%, but a minimum of the 5% has to come from your own sources meaning the down payment that you're given, a minimum of 5% has to be from your own savings or money that you transferred into Canada. Um, if you're given 10%, 5% has to be from your own sources and the other 5% can be gifted. Uh, so maximum 5% can be gifted, a, ma a, maximum, well, a minimum of 5% has to be from your own sources. That makes it a lot easier for people to actually come up with a down payment to buy a home. Um, second thing is, if you have a job in Canada, a minimum of three months or you have to be past your probationary period. So we don't look for that two years history for you to be in a specific industry or to have that much work history for you to actually qualify. Just as long as you've been in your current role as a full-time person for three months, chances are you could qualify for your new home. And with BMO, we work with all three mortgage default insurers your CMHCs, your CGIs, your SAGINs. So we can work with anybody in all of their programs in their new to Canada programs as well. So it, we make it quite simple to buy a home here in Canada if you're new. And for credit history, if you don't have any Canadian credit history, then we can use International Credit Bureau history or let's just say any other major financial institution or financial or Canadian utility bills showing good track record of payments can also help you to qualify. So we make it easy. There are definitely some options. The best thing is to you know get your funds over here as soon as possible if you're looking to make a down payment and speak to a specialist like myself and we can guide you in your specific scenarios to help you buy a home or even get qualified to buy a home. Okay, no, that's great. Thanks for explaining that, Acid, and that will do us, I think, for uh, this edition of uh, of getting to know BMO. Uh, we thank you. All your contact details, I put them on the end of the video as well. And uh, yeah, thanks. And we'll talk about. We'll pick up another subject, uh, and I'll talk to you this time next week. Sounds great. Thank you very much, too.